Aegean progress. A G and M. First, I thank God Almighty for making it possible for us, all of us to be here tonight. Secondly, I want to thank the chairman of Delta State Actors Guild of Nigeria, his executive and entire membership of this chapter for organizing this surprise hosting for Mr. President. Thirdly, I want to thank the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, for actually recognizing the effort of our president. Actors Guild of Nigeria started in a very little uh, eat way. And we adopted the name NAI, Nigerian Actors Guild. From the inception, day one, they said they have a problem. So they have a problem, problem, problem. And that problem forced us to change our name to Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN. It was not what we wanted. But when we went for registration, some people wanted to counter us. So we now put AGN and then show them NAG. They didn't know about AGN until we registered it. And then the problem continued. Leadership problem. But as God, we have it. When I had another sect of serious crisis that almost everybody went astray. But at an appointed time, God gave us a man who understood the gate and the problems of the gate and who have some pinches of solution to the problem. He came in, the first thing was reorganizing the gate through proper reconciliation. Second thing was bringing the mighty up there down to the same page and this, on the same table with the lower people. And then creating a family. And then we started going out of our show out of Nigeria to have uh, affiliation with some international organizations. You may not know that we are affiliated to the International Federation of Artists. We are all the actors in the world, no matter how big you are, our members. And I think we are the only second country in Africa that are permitted to be there. You may not even know that we are part of SAGA, Screen Actors Guild of America. We have some understandings to them. It may probably interest you to know that we have understanding with uh, equity. UK, uh, United, uh, United Kingdom equity. These are part of what the President initiated and achieved within the short period. You may not understand these affiliations until you step out and say, I am a member of Actors Guild of Nigeria. I'm affiliated to so, so, so international bodies. People will recognize you. I've had an opportunity of being on the same table with some bigger actors across the world. And I was given proper recognition as an African actor. It may equally interest you that the president some time ago hosted the Secretary General of uh, African Union here in Nigeria. No any other association cultural association in Africa has been able to do that. So, if we say we are celebrating him today, and if Delta State have initiated this process of celebration because of this award, I must say kudos to the executive and every person that is involved in this. Mr. President, your people love you. They appreciate what you are doing. And um, in, the, in our, my place where I come from, 
They call that place, actually. And we normally say, on your snatch the coach, they more of my. You may not understand, but it's true. Mr. President, your people say you are doing well, but they are expecting higher things. Upon a joke. Because this association, until actors are comfortably well, financially, and can muzzle it out with their contemporaries in other professions, in their villages and other places, we will not say we have arrived. I'm close to you, and I know your program and the projects you have. And I want to say, in the next few years, we shall be on the same shoulder with other professionals. For the first time, the Actors Guild is going to have a summit. Nollywood Actors Summit that is coming up the next month in a do state. It has never happened before. Last time, MBA had their own. ICON had their own. Other groups normally have their own. This time around, Actors Guild of Nigeria is organizing a summit. <laughs> and that summit is going to open a new chapter in our pursuit professionally. What am I trying to say? The program, Mr. President, is trying to project for the guild. It's something all of us should put our hands together and work it out. Uh, uh, today, we are here. I have a national patron here, a Jamat. Ellis Walker, they are the prince. He's one of our national patrons. And he has helped a lot, and he's still helping. I have a veteran actress. Most of you may not know the lady by my left, but you see her on screen. I knew her as a single girl, not married. She was so pretty then, then, not now. She was that she was so pretty because my mother. Today she has remained in this industry. If the industry is not doing well, Ngoze Zonu will not be here. Two of us. Now, if the industry starts doing better than it's doing now, do you think people like Ngozi Zonu will ever think of venturing into politics? No way. politics. <laughs> yes. So what I'm trying to say is that the project that Mr. President is having for the gate is what all of us should do what should encourage him and support him to achieve. There are some people here who has been acting before some people we are born here. Some like our grandfather Kakaki. If I tell you Kakaki did his first television appearance in 1968, you won't believe it. Yes. <laughs> So, please, I sincerely, I sincerely appreciate this gesture, Emma, for everything that you've done wrong, if any, this one cancels all of them. Other states has been calling. When he, even Lagos, they say, when he, I say no, if president is going to come to uh, pass through this side, I say, ma, see, your president is passing. What do we do? Just within a day or two, call the ma, I call the fee, and some other people. I think some of you were in a bit together. President didn't know whoever in his room, I will be making call. He, he won't know the people are. Talking together, so but you guys really rally around, and here we are. Uh, a lot of people 
we are invited and we are all here. Emma, thank you very much. If you thank you, every person, I thank you all. Yesterday, we, Mr. President went from some locations, met some people. They were so happy for us coming to their locations. All the National Executive Council, like uh, A.B. Cabo is the National DGS. He is here. We went around with the President. Yesterday, we went for the burial of one of our colleagues. The day before yesterday, uh, Leo Mezier. He was buried in other state the day before yesterday. So we were there, and from there, we came to this place. Please, remain united. My people normally say, if you put Bazo, remain united. The greater thing is coming. Support your state chapter. Even if they are making mistakes, rally around them, tell them this is not the way, this is the way. Bringing new things into the game, positive things. I was arguing with somebody in UK that I said Asaba is sustaining Nollywood till tomorrow. If you remove Asaba from the Lolly will go down. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I've not done film here for almost 10 years now. But I can tell you, if Asaba chapter closes today, 65% of Lolly will be go down. How many things do we even have to answer to be recognized as a uh, filmmaking nation? Is this state that is sustaining us? And if you know how much people take you, you should put the same zeal into making Asaba. The pay, that is where people come to emulate things. But if Asaba AGA say we are not going to shoot for one moon, the whole country will be begging, be begging you people. You don't know the power you have. So please, as you people did this in just a few days, I wish you can use the same spirit to do other things that will affect the life of this gate and the life of the members. Because when we talk about TG, we're not talking about A and G and A, we're talking about the members. The members, look at Res, Res is here now. He's a billionaire now because he's an actor. You don't even know where this industry is taking you to. I can tell you that today, people like us don't have the kind of money others have. But there is no part of the country we go to and I will present that they won't give us this side. Who won them? It's not because we have the money. It's because we are into an industry that is recognized. I go out and I tell you I am an actor. You must respect me. And that is what Mr. President is trying to bring down to all of us. When you go for any program that the International Federation of Actors Act are doing across the world, and when they call Nigerians, you stand up. The transdiggers and everybody will look at these people are our colleagues. Forget they have the cash. We probably have we to have the cash here. If they have two million dollars, we have two hundred thousand. Money and money. Money and money. Two million is two million. Two million is two million. You know, I remember those days. You go when we go to London. I say twenty pounds. Nasi na ihadi pa chipo. We pay it as if you are paying 20 naira. It's only when you come back and start calculating. <laughs> so please, I appreciate everybody. And um, you know, I don't know how to talk. I'm a very shy person. Mr. President, thank you. Emma, thank you. And thank all of you. God bless all of us. <laughs> Okay, so having said